How's it going on guys, today we're back with a brand new video and in this video I'm going to be showing you the problem with a new squad update. So basically recently with a new easter evasion event, Respawnables updated their squad system, how you play with friends. So now basically they added a little thing on the bottom which says squad. Before you could only play with people if you had them on Facebook and it was really broken. So thank god they fixed that because it was really really broken and you, you could never play with your friends. So thank god they fixed that. But basically the new squad thing this is how it works. So it says squad at the bottom and then you have an ID which is this long thing with numbers and letters. And you either copy that and, and join your friends thing. You, you copy that from your friends. I, you copy your friend's ID and pre put it on the join button and join. Or your friend copies your ID and then you and joins your match. So basically, I thought this would be really, really cool and this would be really awesome and really easy. But I was wrong. Because the problem is, and I, if DLE is watching this, I hope they fix this. The problem is this. After every match, the ID changes. I thought it would never change. The ID changes. So basically, you have to input all that number. If after the match it kicks you then you're not gonna be with your friend again, so you have to input the whole ID again. Which is really stupid, because after every match it changes. And also, it's too long, it should be able customizable, you should be able to change it yourself. So here's what I'm suggesting. I want them to have a, next to the copy button, a change button, where you can change it to whatever you want, like I can change my ID to tbs20, and whoever puts tbs20 joins. So it's really easy. So basically that would be really good, so you can just change your ID to whatever. And after every match, it shouldn't reset. Even if it resets, you could just change your ID. That would be really good. So I hope Digital Legends adds that, that you can change the ID of the thing. That would basically fix the problem. But rather than that, this new squad update is actually good, but that's a really big problem. Because I was playing, I was playing with a friend of mine, and also this session error thing that keeps happening now, it's crazy. Like, it happens all the time. Just after every game, you're in the next game lobby and just kicks you out, says session error, after you finish a game. And basically I was trying to play hordes, and then he kicked me out so many times, that's, all, that's also good that you can play hordes with your friends, but he kicks you out so many times. I was playing Team VS, and then the match ended, and I had both like 4 people in my lobby, it was me and another 3 people, and it took me so long until everyone copied, it was on my live stream, you can go watch it guys. And it took me so long until I copied it down to the live stream chat so people could copy paste it easier. Or until everyone got inside. It took like 5 minutes until everyone got inside. And we went, we played one team VS game and then just kicked, out, kicked me out actually, I don't know if the, about the rest. But it kicked me out with session error. And then the ID changed and then I had to say again the other ID put it on the live stream and then until everyone joined. It just takes so, so much time. So basically the fix would be to have an option where you can change the ID to whatever you want. I don't know why Digital Legend did it like this. And I don't know why the IDs are so long. Like, why? Why would they do this? Anyways, guys, that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. There will be a live stream tomorrow. So yeah, get hyped for that. I'm going to do a very long live stream. So yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.